hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you are new here you're welcome and if you're a returning subscriber you're welcome as well in today's video we are going to be learning how to make a milk made top with an off shoulder sleeve so if this is something that interests you consider to watch my video to the very end so here are the uh, fabric i already cut out i've cut out the lining so here is the modest panel that i'll be using okay so what you do for the length of the modest panel is you are going to be starting your loops one inch before the neckline then one inch before the m line which means your modesty panel is not going to extend to the neckline and it will not also extend to the length of your top now for the width of your modest panel you should just determine what you are cutting off at your center back so whatever you are cutting off is going to be the width of your modest panel so you can just add extra three inches to it so that it's going to for uh, it's going to fall over at the back now for the front what i did was to join the front first and then after joining it i used it to cut out the lining because i don't want joining at the lining area so i'm going to be using this for the uh for the front rope okay and it's about one and a half inches wide that's the rope i'll be using at the front to reach the gathers together okay so the next one is uh the one i'm going to use as my lacing at the back okay i think it's about uh, two inches or one and a half inch wide i'm going to join it together to create the lacing at the back so this is the one i'm going to be using for the loops okay so i'm just going to go to my sewing machine now and start sewing now i'll be coming down by one inch which is going to serve as the casing allowance and then i came down by two inches for the opening so right here i'll be marking one inch as my joining allowance so you can see where i started my joining allowance from so after joining together this is what i'm so going that's to one have. inch i stitch now i'm going to be stitching it down by half an inch twice okay i'm going to show you what it looks like after stitching it together so after stitching this side you repeat the same thing on the other side okay i'm stitching it down so this is what it's going to look like okay so uh, right here i'm sewing the rope casing which is going to be at the top at the neckline okay i'm sewing it down and you're going to repeat the same thing on the other side of the rope and make sure you have cut your ham hole make sure you've cut it off so i've done the same thing on the other side and this is what is going to look like so on this cuff part now i'm going to be running a gather stitch on it so that i'll be able to gather it so around here make sure you cut off your armhole because i didn't remember to cut my when i was uh, cutting on my cutting table so right here i'm going to gather all of this together okay just gather it gently and right here i'm going to be passing the rope i've stitched the rope so i'll be passing the rope where i have the um rope casing where i've stitched down the rope casing okay you're going to be using two rope because you need it on both sides so after passing the rope next thing to do is to notch the center front that i've already stitched okay you're going to notch the center now you're going to bring the center of the upper part of the front which is where i joined the two parts of the front together you are going to match them together and then you are going to start sewing that gathered part you are going to start sewing it around that curved part of the front can you see what i did so after stitching you'll have something like this so the next thing is to take our linings okay we are going to use our lining to cover up that rough edges around here so you are also going to notch the center part of your lining and then you match it together with the center back of the uh, with the center point of the main fabric okay so go ahead now and start stitching okay so your line is going to be facing is your lining and the upper part of the front is going to be the upper part of the front is going to be in between the lining and the lower part of the front so after stitching you're going to have something like this okay can you see what i have so this should it should look neat like this now go ahead and notch all those curved parts so after notching the curve part trim off your lining and after trimming more after trimming off your lining i'm going to be reducing my lining by half an inch so that by the time i stitch my lining and fabric together my lining is not going to be popping out 
So here is how you are going to place it together to stitch the lower part of the top of the of your front. So after stitching it, you are going to be turning it out from the side. Go ahead and notch, then turn it out from the side like so. Okay, and your top is going to look like this. So I'm just going to be stitching down that side. I'm going to be stitching the lining and the fabric down together for the front. So once I'm done at the front, the next thing now is to stitch the back. So I'm just going to stitch the lining at the other side. So I'm going to be stitching it down to the main fabric so that if you have excess lining, you can just easily trim it off. So once I'm done, you should have uh, something like this. I'm just going to trim off the excess lining. So this is what my front will look like. So go ahead and iron it out. So the next thing now is to stitch, is to mark out where I want my loops. Remember, I'm going up at least one inch before the M line, then one inch um after the neckline as well. So you're going to be marking where you want your loops to be. So I marked two two inches interval where I want my loops to be. Okay, so my loops is about three inches wide. So by the time I fold it together, I will have one and half and by the time i stitch half an inch on both side i'll be left with one inch on both side of the loops i hope you understand so i'm going to be sewing the loops now on all the places i want so you can determine how you want the placement of your loops it totally depends on you you can spread it the way i spread mine now or you can place the two legs of your loops on top of each other now after sewing my loops i'm going to be placing my modest panel on it like so okay and then stitch now before i stitch my modest panel i went ahead to stitch the neckline first and then top stitch on my lining you're going to also reduce the lining at the back by half an inch then you're going to sew the m part of your back so after that you're going to insert your modest panel in between the lining and the main fabric at the back then you go ahead and start stitching so after stitching you are going to turn it out okay and then notch the necessary places and this is what you have now you're only sewing one part of your modest panel you're not going to be sewing the other part so right here i'm going to be stitching the front and back together and you can see how i'm turning it so i placed the front pattern in between the back lining and the back uh main fabric okay so that i can have an inseam finish look so this is what i have after stitching okay and i'm going to be repeating the same thing on the other side so here is my sleeve i went ahead to sew half an inch uh i marked four inches upward then i sew half an inch from that four inches okay so after sewing that half an inch i went ahead to stitch it down in order to create a casing for my elastic now at the upper part of my sleeve i've also sewn the half an inch elastic casing at the upper part of my sleeve and afterward i went ahead to pass the elastic at the lower part of my sleeve and at the upper part of my sleeve and then i'm joining the sleeve to my to the armhole of my blouse and once you are done just go ahead and iron it okay and it's going to give you something beautiful thank you for watching this video to the very end please subscribe to my youtube channel give this video a thumbs up share this video so that others can watch and subscribe to my youtube channel bye